Well, hello there, pretty people. <laughs> I'm here to share another tutorial with you. What a surprise. I'm teaching you how to create this super duper brown smoky eye. You guys know that I'm a fan of my cat eye, like I do that practically every day. But this look, if you can tell, it's just different variations of brown. And I give the effect of a cat eye without actually using any black liquid liner or gel liner. I think it's super pretty. I think you could wear it daytime because I do all the time. Or you could wear it nighttime. So yeah. Let's get started. Hi guys. Okay, so I have already primed my eyes, if you can tell, they're a little white, with Soft Ochre MAC Paint Pot, the usual. Today we will be using, sorry, it's over here, the Morphe Brushes 350 palette. I love this. It is my life. Um, since we are doing a brown smoky eye, we're just going to be using like four or five different shades of brown. I always start off with like one of these two they're just light browns to put in the crease i'm going to take like a round blending brush and i'm going to buff this into like my crease i always start to create kind of like an outer v shape starting from up here and going out just because this is going to be a really dark like blended look i wanted to create like start creating that outer v shape so the look is more pointed i think that just looks pretty on the eye so now that we have that light, like, outer shell of brown, I really always do that with all of my looks. I'm going to take, like, a thinner blending brush. This is by Sonia Keshak. Like so. And we're going to take a darker brown. So now I'm going to use the color right next to it, this color. Just more like of a coffee brown. And so this is going to go right in the crease. It's more like of a transition shade. Okay pause for a moment I always open my mouth when I do my eyeshadow I'm over here like do any does anybody else do that like I'm just here like hanging my mouth open and then I remember like Bianca shut your mouth nobody wants to see your mouth hanging open I don't know <laughs> I'm putting this right in the crease right below the lighter brown color that we put earlier this it's okay if this gets if this look gets messy because you clean it up afterwards but still so now that our eye is starting to get really warm, I like to take a, this is just an e.l.f. brush, it's called the Professional Eyeshadow Brush. I really like it, it's just domed and it's nice and flat. Um, and this is when we're going to pack on the really dark, dark brown and then blend on afterwards. So what I have found with this look is that you need a brown that's almost black. And... I used to be really scared to do that at first because I was like, oh, I don't want mine to be so dark. But after you do so much blending, the darkness to the shadow starts to go away. So, like, what I like to do first, I like to take one of these two browns since these are really, really dark. I first go in with this one. This one's more coffee colored. It has more of a brown undertone. So I kind of pack that on my brush on one side. And I just start to, here, let me bring you guys in closer. I just pack that on in padding motions and I only put it on my lid. If you notice, the further down we go on the lid, the darker uh, the darker the brown is. It's because we're trying to create an ombre effect. And after you do all the blending we're about to do, it'll look really pretty. Now that you've created that look, I just dropped my brush. All right. Okay, we're back. <laughs> now that you have this like really harsh line, you're gonna take the same blending brush, the same brush that you used to put that middle transition color in and blend it out. I use windshield wiper motions and just kind of little circles around to blend that into the color that we put in previously. And if you notice, I always go back and continue adding to that like outer V shape that I'm trying to create with my eyeshadow, just always blending everything in. So now that all of that's blended in, this is when you're going to need tape. So a lot of people put tape in your hand. I just use regular scotch tape. Um, rip out like a regular size piece. I put it on my hand beforehand. Put it on my hand beforehand. Put it on my hand and then I peel it off just to take off, take off a little bit of the stickiness before I put it on my face. The way you want to angle this tape is look at the arc of your brow. I know my brows aren't done. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about it. But um, 
put it to the angle, put it to, at the same angle of your arc on your brow and take it with that same angle and place it under your eye ever so slightly. I like to do this just because I think if you put the tape first hand, the line is too harsh and I'm not about that life. Maybe not with this look because I'm trying to make it smoky. So again, So now that you can start to see the gradient effect of the brown, I always like to go back in with the original brush that I took, that I put the lightest brown, go back to my palette, and actually use an orangey shade. I like to use more of a yellow, now that I have my tape on, and go back to the outer edge and add an orangey tint to the outside of your shadow. It'll make everything look more orangey, and it'll give more of a warmth to your eye. Look at the difference. I don't know, can you guys see it? It looks more like, ha. Huh. Ooh, it looks more blended and pretty and like it fades out pretty and this is just brown Okay, so this is when the fun part starts and when why we need why I explain that we have to use the tape So I like to take a small little brush like this, which is a smudger brush Because it lets me get really 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 close to my lash line This is when you take the darkest color either you can take a super dope super duper duper dark like dirt coffee brown or you can take like a black usually when I have so many browns like this on my eye I like to take uh, like this color they're so dark brown that they almost look black but they're not I dip the tip of my brush like this and this is when we're gonna create our cat eye effect starting really close to the lash line and on the very corner between the tape and the corner of your eye just start to make little dabs and run the brush as close to the lash line as possible. This is when you start lay add adding a layering effect, so it's okay if you don't see it at first. Drag it out a little bit and you'll see that it'll create that wing effect for you. I don't want like to take it out too far because it's easy to make the line go all the way up here to the orange and we don't want that. Just a little bit. Honestly, if you pay attention, it's just like adding colors on top of colors on top of colors. And it looks so messy, but it's really fairly easy. So because I'm me and I like having, you know, a dark, really nice smoky eye, I'm going to take a different palette. I am going to take my Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm going to use the color black in here. It's called black. And it's one of the blackest blacks that I have. And I'm ever so slightly going to put that over that so it, it gives it that smokier effect and you see the line a little bit more like the eyeshadow line like the eyeshadow. ever so slightly because you want this to be smoky we're gonna smoke this out in a second okay so now taking a completely clean brush I'm gonna use this domed kind of fluffy brush another brush by Sonia Keshuk completely clean I'm gonna run over all of that just to blend it into that brown on our lid do you see how much smokier that is now that I've taken a clean brush to it? If you want to make it darker, go ahead and go ahead and add a little bit more black with the same little short brush. I like to just dab to make sure that the, the closest... I want my lash line to be practically black with shadow. Everything's nice and smooth. Go ahead and peel off the tape. This shouldn't hurt so much because you did peel it off your skin, so it's kind of nice. And there you can see that the line, although it's harsh, it's not super harsh. And you can clean that away much, much, much easier with concealer. Also right here in this inner area, when you, when you take your concealer and your foundation, it'll be all said and gone. So at this point, once you've done your concealer, you can for sure go back in with any brush that you need to. Make sure there's no harsh lines, especially here on the edge. This is the final product. You know, you just gotta add a little bit of mascara, put on some lashes, and finish blending out, blending out the underneath part. And yeah, I hope you guys love it. Can't wait to see you next time. Mwah.